Hi, I'm Shelley Cox from Montu, uh, and with me I have Ewan Tweedy from the PwC UK team, uh, who leads uh, PwC's uh, product and pricing capability. Hi. Uh, today we're going to have a wee chat around pricing and specifically the people part of the pricing equation. Uh, so pricing is often about numbers, uh, but people are very critical in that process. Uh, so you and probably the first topic to broach is around the makeup of pricing teams. So tradi traditionally, pricing teams have been probably almost 100% actuaries or actuarial students. How have you seen that change in recent years? Uh, so, um, yeah, I think, as you say, traditionally, it has been um, exclusively the remit of uh, an actuary. But I, I do, as you say, see that changing, I think. Um, the obvious uh, example is the introduction of more data scientists into that field. So um, you can see this in the promotion of data science as a, as a practice by the Institute. And there's a real focus on uh, developing and growing that area within uh, within the industry. So I'd say that's that's the first sort of new entrant into the pricing function. Um, I'd then say the pricing function's sort of extending its remit. So I think more and more you're beginning to see people with uh, sales expertise or market expertise um, or even uh, behavioral scientists and uh, just trying to get that real breadth of knowledge into uh, into that key commercial team in the life insurer. Cool. And what do you, th so that's starting to grow. And so what do you think some of the key skills of the, the pricing teams of the future uh, will need and need to be thinking about now? Um, so for me, I think there's, there's a few areas which, where you can really um, make some investment and some growth. Um, that would be around um, keeping a real commercial mindset with uh, what you're doing, just bringing that real commercial focus into, into the pricing function. Um, also thinking about some of the softer skills around uh, communication. So increasingly, it's going to be using tools like data science and, and that expertise, but without being able to communicate that well, mm. um, you're not gonna have the impact. I think the last thing is is not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. So it's about retaining the core strength of actuarial talent in that pricing function. So the ability to make um, risk-based judgments, for example, um, and, and to go through those thought processes, I think is essential. Um, ultimately, we, 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 you still need to keep a real focus on product within the team. And unless you've got uh, some actuaries who are really focused on that specialism, you can get distracted by all the sort of exciting new areas of machine learning, etc., and, and end up making uh, some mistakes along the way. So I think yeah. overall it's a blend, but um, there's room for both the new and retaining some of the old. Definitely an end, not an or. Exactly that, yeah combination of skills uh, well that's all from us today just a just a quick video uh, stay tuned we've got more of these videos coming up uh, so feel free to drop us a line if you've got any questions or have any topics you'd like us to cover thanks thanks very much